Hey everybody! Today we're going to be talking about the stab technique that we use in our class. And when it comes to the stab technique, this is really just a method for us to sort of introduce um, bacteria into a solid medium inside of a tube. So a couple examples of tubes where we might be performing this type of technique with could be something like our auger deeps, which is basically just a bigger tube than normal, which has a bunch of auger inside of it again. So this is solid. And what we would do here again is these ones are generally used for looking at things like anaerobic growth. We can also have other tubes like our motility media, which again is just a same basic concept here. It has auger inside of it, and considering it's called the motility medium, it tests for motility. We have other tubes that look basically exactly like these, what we call the SIM tube or the sulfur indole motility tube. The concept here is the same, it tests for motility, but then also things like hydrogen sulfide production and indole production. Another type of tube that we generally inoculate with a stab is what we call a Clickler's ion auger tube or a Kia slant. And I don't happen to have one of those with me today, so I'll, here's a picture of what that looks like. It looks like a regular slant, except it's red. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show how we inoculate that type of tube, but I'm just going to use a regular slant to kind of show that technique. But these are just, again, a couple examples of medium that we might use in, or use a stab technique to inoculate. And again, the main thing here is that it's a solid auger inside of the medium, so we have to stab down into it in order to look at these different types of items that we might have with our different types of media. So with the intro out of the way, let's talk about the different materials that you're gonna to need to perform this procedure. You're gonna need your Bunsen burner and the striker in order to sterilize your needle. And the needle is then gonna be the next thing we're gonna need. And when we're looking at our normal loop, it has the loop at the top. The needle is basically just one where we took the loop off. That's all it is. You're gonna need your sample. And whenever I do stabs, I tend to prefer to use a broth sample you can use slants and plates as well, but I just tend to think that it works out better from a broth. But slants and plates, they would work as well if you, that's where you have your sample from. And then you're gonna need, of course, something to inoculate. So again, whether that's a motility tube, a deep, a sim, or a Kia, just kind of depends on the specific type of procedure that you're doing. But with that in mind, let's go ahead and get into the procedure and actually show how we go through and we, we do a stab. So I'm only gonna go ahead and do the motility medium just to kind of show a normal stab. And then I'll go ahead and do, again, my regular slant here to show how we would inoculate a Kia slant. So let me get this going. There we go. So I've got my broth, got my motility medium, and we're gonna start out with our aseptic technique. So we're gonna flame our needle. Make sure you flame the entire needle. Here we go. Now we're going to give it again our 10 to 15 seconds or so just to kind of cool down so that we're not creating those aerosols and we're not killing off the bacteria inside of our inside of our tube. Let's see, all right, that should be good. So uncap the tube, flame the mouth of it, dip your needle inside of it and swirl it around. Flame the mouth of the tube and recap it. Now, when we're ready then to inoculate our medium, we're going to uncap it, flame the mouth of the tube, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try as best as possible to come down straight in the middle. I'm going to just stab down inside of the medium almost all the way, and then try to pull it back out. Flame the mouth of the tube and recap it. And that's basically how we complete that procedure. Of course, make sure that you flame at the end in order to clean your needle. All right, so give me just a second here to, to reset, get this guy cooled down a little bit, and then I'll show you the, the Kia slam version here. All right, so let's do the Kia. Same basic thing. We're going to start out with our aseptic technique. We're going to go through. We're going to flame our needle. Give it our little 15 seconds or so to, to cool down here. Mm -hmm. All right, 
out there. Uncap the tube, the sample tube, flame the mouth of it, dip the needle inside of the broth, flame the mouth of it again and recap it. And now with our Kia slant, the way that we're gonna go ahead and do this, we're gonna uncap it, flame the mouth of the tube. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm going to stab down inside of the butt of my slant. Just kind of about 80% of the way down, come up. And now I'm going to zigzag across the slant. Flame the mouth of the tube, again recap it, and then flame your loop. I'm oh, sorry, flame your needle in order to clean it. Now, it might seem silly again, because when we talked about how we actually inoculate a slant normally, we say you shouldn't dig into the auger. But when it comes to the Kia uh, slant, which we'll talk about later in the semester as well, one thing that actually is looked at in that test is gas production. And that's why that we actually dig down into the auger, because if gas is produced by our organism, it will literally raise the medium up inside of the tube. So that's why we have to do a stab for that specific type of technique. But really, that should cover everything that I need to talk about in terms of our stab technique.